They are going to be covering selling your home. Now the first video, this video, is going to be about, so you've decided to sell, now what? I'll explain all of the things that you need to do to get ready to sell your home. So the first thing you need to do is you need to choose a real estate agent, someone that is gonna represent you and your house the best. So what I do when I go and view homes for the first time is have the owner, aka you, give me a tour of your property. Show me all around the inside of the house, the outside of the house, point out any special features about your house, and then we'll look at potentially any areas that need to be fixed up before listing your home. Then I'll ask you about your neighborhood, what's close by, what the neighborhood activities are, and that sort of stuff. And then we will talk about why you wanna sell your home. Now, one of the big questions that I get asked by buyers all the time is, why is the seller selling their home? Because they automatically think there's something wrong with the home. When typically the reasons are you wanna buy a bigger house, downsize, move to a different location, work is transferring you, whatever the reason. So we'll cover your reasons for selling your home, just so I know for when I get asked from buyers. Then we will talk about your price range. So typically a seller will already have a price in mind that they think they should sell their home for. So we'll discuss that. We'll figure out where you got that number from and is there any major significance in that number. Typically sellers will come back with, well, Zillow told me my house was worth X amount of dollars, so that's what I'm gonna sell it for. Unfortunately, Zillow is not always correct when it comes to pricing homes. They just don't get all of the information of what is going on in the market at the moment to be able to put out those accurate prices in their estimates. So what I will do to help determine the best price for your home is give you a current market analysis report. Now this report will cover all of the properties around your neighborhood that are similar style, similar size, and that sort of thing to determine what they sold for, how long they sat on the market, if there was any price reductions, any concessions, or anything like that. Pull in all of that information and then that gives us an idea of where your house stands in the current market. So once we've come to the agreement of where we think we should list your house or where we think the market value is, we'll need to work out what pricing strategy works best for you. So there are three different strategies, price the property low, price it at fair market value, or price it high. Sometimes people wanna price their home higher than the market is dictating. Now the problem with doing that is you can potentially stigmatize your home because it will sit on the market for a week, you'll drop the price and keep dropping it until you gather the interest and eventually sell it potentially below market value. Then there is listed at market value, but the best pricing strategy, even in this hot market, is pricing it below market price. Now you might say, well, why would I wanna do that? That's ridiculous. If you price it lower than the market dictates, the interest on the property will be a lot bigger. You'll get more viewings, you'll get more offers coming through. And what does that mean for you? Prices will go up. The price will keep going up because you'll have counter offers on other people that wanna buy it. And generally, it will go above market value if you price it right and if your listing strategy is on point. Okay, so we worked out price, we worked out marketing strategy. Now you need to work out what listing package is gonna work best for you. Now that's what the next three videos are gonna be covering because I have three different listing packages. I have bronze, silver, and gold. Stay tuned because they will be coming up next and explain a lot more as to what is involved in those pricing strategies. But for now, I hope that has answered your question as far as what you need to do once you've decided to sell your home. Have a fantastic day and I will speak to you soon. Bye.